Hello, welcome back. Uh, Throne of Dreams has been claimed by Baratos, actually, so I guess that's good news. Uh, we did some remote attacks. Not very effective, unfortunately. There is some PD here, so... Yeah. Orcs tend to bounce off PD. Especially Abyssian PD. Not great. <laughs> but, you know, we tried. Would have been nice to have all those flying units there with us when we arrive. Uh, also, Gesture returned. Apparently one of our researchers with a lantern got lost in the void at some point. I don't know. <laughs> but she returned to the caverns, so she just randomly um, appeared in an Abyssian cave somewhere. Um, <laughs> here she is. Yeah, so um, there's a Whisperwood Enchantress. I guess that's nice. I mean, maybe she... I mean, yeah, that must have been one of our re researchers from somewhere who went... at some point got... I don't know, horrid and disappeared into the void? I don't remember when that happened, but... I guess it did. Uh, we caught some Blood Slaves. Uh, I think that's it for this part of the turn. We then moved on to the womb. Now, a bit awkward here... is because we're just hitting PD, we don't use any of our big battlefield spells. Which is good. We don't want to waste gems. But unfortunately one thing I didn't think of is that because a lot of our mages are scripted to do um <laughs> what's it called again? The cloud. Sulfur haze. Um it does kind of kill a lot of things. Um <laughs> which, you know, isn't great. We also lost a Gija somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Let me just let's see if I can just blow through this. It must be someone here. Something died here, I think. How did that happen? <laughs> I'm so confused. You're a muspel Gija, it's not you. Where is there a Gija? Oh. Someone didn't have fire res. Okay. It must be you then. You must burn to death, right? Yeah, okay. Well, that's why. Most of our mages who aren't fire resistant are, yeah, they have an item to give them fire resistance, or they cast something, but again, if we would have done our battlefield buff, she would have been okay, because we would have cast, you know, mass regen and fire res and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, so slightly awkward, but whatever, I mean, <laughs> it's cost of doing business. We put the fortress under siege anyway. Uh, we also took Raspberry Woods off Kalem. I think this is pretty empty, yeah. There's some stuff here. These guys are all mages, right? Yeah, but still, I mean, nothing's really going to stand up to what we have here. Not this junk, anyway. <laughs> so that is the end of Kalem. Uh, farewell to them. Events then, Dragonscale Mountains got some defense. Uh, Bodden Wield. Snotra was ambushed while trying to catch Blood Slaves. But we had some bodyguards this time, so yeah. Be gone, commoners. A male commoner. He is probably tired and just wants to finish his drink. Okay. <laughs> um, if you say so. A female commoner. She's probably tired and just wants to finish her meal. Oh, okay. Uh, Grey Barrier. We got some Earth Gems. Grain Port. Pretty brutal one. We got hit by a tidal wave. Lost 8,000 population. That's this province. Still has 20,000 pop though, so... Uh, religious Misconceptions and Falsehoods in Toledo. Destroying the fort in the womb. Walls are severely damaged, which is nice. And that's it for messages. Now, interesting thing I've learned is that this throne here is in Abyssia's cap circle, which <laughs> might make things difficult. Uh, I assume probably has some reinforcements close by. Uh, his god is certainly here. Uh, I can, a vampire lord can be seen... Yeah. I mean, there's 690 units, but as we can see, most of them are soulless. I mean, I assume there's still some mages here. I mean, it's interesting because obviously a lot of stuff, you know, attacked us already. So, I don't know, who's to say? But still, I didn't realize it was in his cap circle. So it's, you know, it's a bit perturbing. Anyway, we're on the womb. 
Second thing is just making sure this army has gems. Um, so we're doing a few uh, carrier birds as well. There's one person here. I think there might be someone on our cap doing it. Yeah, so we're sending nature gems and glamour gems over. So in this army, I think, yeah, Ensight's pack will do army of giants. So she's getting some nature gems. And I think the others are going to Halloween update $10, who is going to do nightmare masks. Everyone else still has gems for their important stuff, so that's good. So we're okay in terms of our spells and things that we're going to do in battle. Everything else is fine. Obviously, we don't have quite as many units as we did previously, because we lost a lot of giants, but we still have quite a few. Um, yeah. It might be a bit awkward if we get hit during the ritual phase and then don't use our gems and then more of our mages die. But I think most of the guys here now have fire res, right? I mean, I'm just scanning it quickly. I mean, it looks like, I mean, pretty much everyone either has a fire plate or a red dragon scale mail, even like random jade sorks. Actually, you have N2 naturally? What the f- I guess that's why I bought you. Um, speaking of jade sorks and things, we also have another water mage heading down. Remember this uh, mage who got this soul contract a while back? I've been moving her over as well. All these devils are coming. And a new Ermage too, who has, well, two boosters. We've got a Staff of Elemental Mastery and a Winged Helmet. I think, oh yeah, two of them actually. So these guys do Arrowfend and Thunderfend, and then try to do some spells. That's in addition to the original Ermage, who also does Army of Mist and hopefully Soaring Army as well. So we've got some more gems and some new spells as well. Uh, what is this Water Mage doing? I think she's just doing Quickness. Yeah. So I didn't have any leftover fire res items for her, so she casts Resist Fire and then does Quickening. Uh, which might be pretty cool. AoE 9 plus Quickness. It's a pretty nice one. Uh, but that's what's going to be sitting on the fort. Obviously it's not cracked open yet, but it will crack open next month. It's got 1500 wall integrity, and we have what? 915 Siege Strength. So unless something gets cast on it, it's going to break open next month. Um, also, Eden here is quite amusing. I guess this is another person who I didn't put Fire Res on, and so she probably got set on fire just then. And um, <laughs> this is what she looks like now. Uh, R.I.P. Anyway, that's what's happening here. We just have to see what happens over the next few turns. Besides that, we finished off Kalem. We'll get a temple down in Raspberry Woods this month. Uh, everyone who can lead troops is just going to head over here. We'll take these two provinces back, and then maybe we'll march these giants down towards Abyssia as well if we need to. We'll see how it goes. Thrones now looks like this. The Baratus has two. Um, I have three. Machaka has two, and Abyssia has four. So Abyssia isn't super close to winning, but... Let's take another one of their thrones anyway if we can. It's basically it for this turn, to be honest. There's nothing crazy happening, I don't think. Let's just check. So I'm doing Call of the Winds on the womb, sending gems over. Um, move patrolling. Oh yeah, the reinforcement's currently on the way on move patrolling to Goita. Um, I can't remember why I'm doing that. I think I was worried it might get put under siege by something during the ritual phase. And then... We don't have a retreat route. Right? That makes sense, I think. So these guys are move patrolling so that we're patrolling it. I don't know. I think that makes sense. <laughs> I could be wrong. But anyway, they're move patrolling there. Uh, forging more fire plates, lightning rods, building temples. And yeah, that's it currently. And that's the state of things. Uh, getting a temple down in Hippocampus as well. And... Yeah, Forest of Eden. So three more temples this month. What's our dominion now? Fifteen, nice. Yeah, no wonder it's so hard to keep dominion up here. We're right next to Abyssia's capital. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Um, I haven't seen many devil attacks though, which is odd. I thought that was looming hell stuff. Thought we'd be getting hammered because we're in a bunch of enemy dominion now. Nice thing is it is heat four, I suppose. Um, losing all those giants means we don't eat as many supplies either, so we're, <laughs> we're pretty good on supplies, considering. 
Um, yeah, but the heat four is really good for us, isn't it? That's it for turn 71 anyway. What am I recruiting these days? I'm still multiple Gigi's and Giants. I could get more Giants because of all the holy points we have now, but it's just cost stuff. I'm still trying to get mages and scouts out down here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's it really, isn't it? We'll just see what happens over the next few turns. But that's turn 71 anyway, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Should be another pretty simple turn. I uh, got some conjuration research done. I'll try and get demon cleansing next. I think that should be useful. We'll see. I uh, did some bird related spells. Another throne has been claimed. Uh, Giant Sarmine has claimed the throne of water. Yeah, Abyssina has five thrones, I think. Uh, we also then got some assassinations again from Looming Hell. Uh, one of them was on a Muspel Yarl, which is a shame. This guy is blind with Battle Fright and Never Healing Wound. I was wondering if these events trigger off morale, and that's why he got hit. I'm not sure. Uh, blindness probably doesn't help. His defense doesn't look too bad here, does it? I mean, that's all that heat bonus on his uh, heat power, I think. Uh, anyway. Devil lands on him. He hits over 27. That's got gift of health hit points. He's hitting Wilder Smasher. Uh, Devil then stabs him for 22 damage. Which is a bit... <laughs> it's a bit much. Is our protection low? No. What do you hit for? I mean, I'm kind of surprised he got hit that hard. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest. What was that? Attack roll 23 versus 16 defense. Damage roll 24 plus 22. Versus a prot roll of 16.8. Okay, that was a big... <laughs> that was a big bonus on his attack. Okay, sure. He gets hit for 22. And it starts to route then, unfortunately. It's because of the battle fright. It's, it's a shame. He, if he wasn't missing the morale, I think he'd be smart enough to keep fighting, but... That one randomly big hit just... Um, it broke his, broke his will. Unfortunately, we lose pre-order bonus for our avatar. Uh, which is a shame. But, yeah, there he goes. Um, other things that got hit were Great Hawks, so not a great loss. Uh, yeah, kind of odd the way it's choosing who to. I mean, all three Great Hawks is just odd, and then plus this guy. I'm not sure how Looming Hell picks targets, but it seems weird. Uh, we also spied a battle in Fairy Forest, which is just a big Machaka army with a lot of forest giants uh, into this big stack, uh, including an Anunnaki. This is not a throne though, it's just a weird province that's <laughs> got a ton of vine ogres and Anunnaki's. I don't know why. Well, either way, uh, he takes her. I'm pretty sure that's not a throne, right? It's just some random province. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why there's all that stuff there. It's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, people from Muspelheim left. Events then. Barbarians were caught in Dragon Scale. Earthquake destroyed a temple in Grey Barrier. Misfortune and Magic in White Grave. Uh, yeah, and nothing else too interesting. One thing that's important is that the walls of the womb are now undamaged. Uh, that means that he did cast some kind of buff on the fortress. Which would usually be Iron Walls, but I don't know, there's a bunch of new spells now, isn't there? I'm not even sure what school they're in, to be honest. Alteration, probably. So I would be thinking of Iron Walls, which gives that an extra 2,000 points of um, strength. So until we get to, until we get through the 2,000 buffer now, the message will just say undamaged. If he has used Iron Walls. He might have used some other thing. Uh, but we are doing currently, let's see, 1,000. So it's still going to take us a while to get through this now. Which is slightly uncomfortable, because obviously he can probably reinforce quite well from this region, but... I was wondering if it's worth sending out solo guys to just go and take random provinces and look around the cave and... Uh, harry him a bit, but... 
I don't know, I can't really spur that much stuff is the thing. Maybe one of the th I mean, we just lost one of the, the big geared out Yarls, which is a bit annoying. They might be worth doing though, I don't know. Um, yeah, we, I mean, we're missing a lot. We only have 40 giants left, the rest from bodyguard duty. <laughs> uh, that's about it, really, some devils. I don't know, for the time being I'm just going to sit here and, and siege them. A few guys are preaching. Um, because we are in n points of any dominion, surely we can do something about that. We get it down to a nice reasonable 8 points of enemy dominion, that'll be good. And we do have more re reinforcements on the way now, so... This random collection of junk is about to arrive. Uh, that does mean we now also have our other air mages that have arrived properly in the battle too. Uh, if I can find them, so... We should have four sitting on this fort now, I think. Or three, I think. Uh, if I can find them. I can't see the other one at a glance. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, so we've got three air mages ready now. It would be nice to get someone to do... Val Vapors, which we could do, but we need another booster. We have this random N2... Oh no, did you die? No, there she is. We have the random N2 Jade Sorker, would be a perfect candidate to cast Val Vapors, so... I'm going to try and get her set up next. Um, so over here, I'm going to make another Moonvine Bracelet, and we'll send those two boosters to her, and a bunch of gems, and then we'll also have... Uh, Val Vapor's caster in the battle. But besides that, I'm just sitting there at the moment. It's not great. We've got more guys coming over, though, from this uh, Kalem area. So another... This is a lot of giants. So when these guys finally arrive, that'll help out a bit. can split some up and do some raiding, too. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's it. We're just sitting on the fort now. Waiting for something to happen. Anything else? Casting a rouse hunger on it. Still making plate mills in case we need them. Uh, I'm going to start using our Blood Slaves to just make some lifelong protections, because mm, why not? Got no better use for the Blood Slaves now. Another Winged Helmet, Lightning Rods, the Moonvine Bracelet. And that's it currently, so still just sit tight. Found 72. Uh, watch this space, maybe something happens next time. I'll see you then. Hello, welcome back. Uh, first up, message from Abyssia. I sure hope I low roll my Dome of Fire rolls this turn, with me having to hell ride some vamp lords into a fort being stormed because of forgetting to get around to moving some there. Okay then. <laughs> Hopefully that's not... No, we're not storming, so I guess that's not us. Uh, I did arouse hunger on the fort again. Battling Dai Luffy with some barbarians putting us under siege. Not much I can do about that. Uh, we took control of Zox, our forces met no resistance. How does that happen? That's so odd. <laughs> I thought there was barbarians here or something. Uh, lots of people got assassinated this month by devils. Fortunately, a lot of the people who got attacked were Yarls, and this time they were not uh, helpless. So... That Yarl survived. That Yarl survived. Also, signed thank you card got attacked as well. Whisper with Enchantress. So glad I saved my turn, because I was able to go back and see what her script was. Uh, after she dies. She was the um, Serpent's Blessing caster. And there she goes. <laughs> Not gonna lie, a bit annoying, uh, Leaming Hell, huh? Uh, we also lost a Muspel Daughter as well, but I don't think she was doing anything. She had no items or gems, so... I'm not as bothered about that one. Uh, events then. Barbarian Horde. Demon possessing swine. Demon possessing swine. A mere three weeks after sowing, the crops have sprouted. 400% tax, province income and growth. Hell yeah. Uh, strange events. Vengeful Sea Hag. Raid Boom. Uh, and more barbarians. Lots of relig religious misconceptions and falsehoods. Being sieged by independent barbarians in two forts. Uh, Womb is severely damaged again, so we got through Iron Walls or whatever. And Starving in Zox, which is odd, but... I mean, just press on. <laughs> it's fine, I'll put some food bags on these guys as they go past. And that's it for messages, and hey, besides that, things pretty simple. Just keep sitting on this fort, hope it cracks open eventually. 
Looks like it was Iron Walls, because that's 2,000 mm -hmm. bonus, so... Yep. <laughs> I don't know. We do, um, 1,200 more or less. Less. 1,175. There's more stuff on the way now. Uh, I started... I'm, I should have done this earlier, but I started recruiting Polars every turn. Since they do 9.4 Siege Strength each. So... I think there's like 10 getting recruited here. That's basically an extra 100 Siege Strength every turn. Gaita's fort, unfortunately, not as good. Hardly any rank points, so I can do 5 each turn, but yeah. Even so, it's an extra 150 siege points every turn. Um, the original march army that we marched the Gaita had like, what, 2000 siege strength or something? So I wasn't really thinking of siege. But now that we've lost half of our giants, um, yeah. Need to bulk up our siege numbers a bit, so. Pearlers. Pearlers are pretty good as well. <laughs> I think. <laughs> when you've got like, um, a handful of big targets, Hurling a big rock boulder at them is pretty good. So I don't mind sticking those in our army anyway. Gradually moving stuff down. I put these contracts on people just to have them when we get down there. And only other thing of note is doing a bunch of carrier birds and carrier eagles. So we are sending nature boosters and gems around. So this nature mage is going to have all of the items and gems necessary to do foul vapors next month. Which is funny because we just lost the Serpent's Blessing caster. So I've had to stick Serpent's Blessing into Cool Green Icon's script. I don't know why this is red. Oh, because relief is five. Okay, well that's why. <laughs> so it costs her two gems to do relief. Okay, so she's short a gem. That's fine though. I'm sending her another 12 nature gems anyway by bird. Uh, so yeah, so we've got all the buffs we want. I'm having her cast it because Relief only costs 100 Fatigue to cast, so she's likely to get Serpent's Blessing off as well. Army Regen and Army of Giants are extremely expensive, so probably going to knock these two out. I don't like all this in the garrison. Why is there so much stuff? I mean, I guess these were what was bodyguarding. Although these guys can't bodyguard, so they must have just been getting led. Uh, any of you guys not have bodyguards? I'm pretty sure everybody had. How do you not have any bodyguards? I guess you just arrived. Can bet. I think you're in discipline, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, you get this stuff on. What do you have? Fire res? Yeah. You get this stuff on bodyguard then. Really hope they keep you safe. Uh. Let's see. Does anyone else important not have bodyguards? If not, we'll just slot these guys randomly into... Uh, right, we've got ghouls down here now as well. They can go up with the yetis, I think. Why is there one stray ghoul? Where's that guy? One stray ghoul. What? <laughs> you go there. Um, and you can just attack immediately. Right, I think we're good besides that. Let's just randomly stick these bone tribe guys on... This leader. No, I think the H1 guys are better leaders, aren't they? You guys? Yeah, neutral morale. Although you're also... You're already leading. Any H1 guy is not leading someone already. Oh, how good's my profit at leading? Plus one for three. All right, you can lead this random junk then. Um, there's two. Pick the hurlers in with these guys. Yetis we have squads of. You can mix in with those. Um, Black Hawk. The Black Hawks. Alright, I think we're good. Just keep waiting and see what happens. So, <laughs> it's turn 73. Yeah, now, see you next time.